attachment theory actually describes much of what we talk about in terms of people getting that sense of identity. I'm always fascinated by uh, how things work within a, a restoration framework. Love teaches you everything you know about yourself. Mm -hmm. So the way that you were loved sacrificially tells you whether or not you're worthy. It's romantic love to you tells you that you're unique, mm -hmm. that you're special in some way. Friendship tells you that, reassures you that you're not alone. Attachment theory really talks about that identity formation. There's this big sense of safety or trustworthiness that also integrates into relationship. Mm -hmm. That need for predictability, mm -hmm. that need to know that I can lean on people and that I will have something to give in return. We always make a point that says that love is a basic human need, but in actuality, trustworthiness right. is a basic human need also. What we're trying to do in restoration therapy is stabilize the attachment, restore as much love and trustworthiness as possible. Mm -hmm. We're starting to help people emotionally regulate mm -hmm. uh, so that they, they don't always have to depend on somebody else. I don't have this giant need that you need to meet, but I am also able to take the position of saying, I have something to give to myself. Mm -hmm. And then I'm able to move that into a mindful state of behavioral change where I can truly be intimate, not because I need right. you to fill me up. I do it because I wanna be close to you in a partnering relationship where we can share each other's thought process, emotional process, spiritual process all together. We have a pastor that tells us, you cannot change what you will not name. Mm -hmm. And I think chasing the pain is really going back to that heart and saying, where are the chinks in my armor mm -hmm. in terms of my own identity and my own sense of safety? Yeah. And can I confront those things in a constructive way, not in a retaliatory right. way, but right. in a constructive way to say, I really have work to do. Can I start emotionally regulating myself? Can I love myself? If I'm able to be reliable for my wife and my children, mm -hmm. why would I not show up for myself in terms of saying, listen, you have skills and talents, you have competence, you've been in these types of situations before, you're man enough to do this. Those things emotionally regulate me yeah. to be able to step in then mm -hmm. to those situations. That's what the key to restoration therapy is, I think. You start formulating people that when they start self-regulating, they in turn are able to do loving and trustworthy things in their relationship.